Sabbath, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you this morning in Sabbath school. Let's just start singing song number one. Let's find our bells in our basket so we can make some music while we sing all together. happy you're here this morning. Boys and girls, this Sabbath, we're going to talk about Jesus. And you know what? Jesus um, is my good friend, my best friend. And let's praise him. Let's find our little flags like this one's in your baskets. And let's sing song number two. and girls I love Jesus well you know what boys and girls let's sing this morning Jesus loves me this I know and you can use your flags if you want to but you know what for those that already know we can do the sign language for Jesus loves me this I know this morning so let's try that love to hear your voices and I love to see you signing. Now, you know what, boys and girls? It is time to gather our offerings. So let's bring them here to our basket while we sing song number four.
and girls, would you like to join me in prayer? Let's thank Jesus for the offering this morning. Let's sing song number five while we get ready for our prayer. Thank you for the Bible and the stories and the promise that you're going to take us to a happy place in heaven. Thank you for all your love for us and our families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, today in Sabbath school, we're going to talk about a place called heaven. Do you know where heaven is? You know, is heaven as tall as a tree above the trees, like this tree? Probably a little bit higher than the rainbow? I think that the heaven is much, much, much higher than the clouds. Yes, it's very far. We cannot see heaven. It's that high. So, boys and girls, while we sing song number six, will you please stand up and reach high to heaven while we six with while we sing all together? The Bible tells me about heaven, and it says that heaven will be a beautiful place, and people are going to be healthy all the time, and we're going to have fun. We're not going to get hurt. We're going to play with wild animals. It's going to be a beautiful, wonderful place. So let's find our rainbows, and let's sing Heaven, um, It's a Special Place, song number seven. I do want to go to heaven. Well, you know what, boys and girls? Jesus assigned all of boys and girls and mommies and daddies an angel. And this angel has a very important job. And it's to be with you and take care of you. And he will go and talk to Jesus about you. So he is your guardian angel. Now, we have some felt um, angels like this one that we can put our hands inside like this. See? Let's find them in our baskets, put them in our little hands, and make them fly away while we sing song number eight. Thank you. 
Yes, we thank Jesus for the angels. They also live in heaven with Jesus. And you know what, boys and girls? The Bible tells them when we go to heaven, we're not going to be in clothes like this. No, Jesus has prepared special clothes for us that we can wear all the time and we're going to be comfortable and it's going to be nice and clean and we have some robes in our baskets and we can put them. I know that your robe, it's for you to put it from the front and tie it on the back or has Velcro on the back. Now, boys and girls, mine is a little bit different, so I'm going to try to wear this one. While we sing song number nine, let me get ready for a minute. Oh, let's see. Oh, how do I look? Oh, you look very nice. Look at you. You want to try that? Song number nine is for protections from the sun. But you know what? Jesus is going to give us something so much better. He loves us. He thinks that we're so special to him that he will give us crowns. And our crowns are going to be different. My crown is going to be looking different from your crown. And Jesus will put some special um diamonds and jewelry and beautiful and he's going to ha give it to you so you can wear it like this would you like to wear one oh teacher can pass you one and you can wear your crown The crown is a little bit big, but that's all right. Oh, boys and girls. Um, now, when we get to heaven, you know, here on earth, we have lots of different instruments. I don't know if you have listened to orchestras or, or bands, and they have wind instruments that you blow like flutes, and you have a string instruments like violins. There are so many instruments and they make beautiful music. When we get to heaven, oh boy, the music is going to be so much better. And instruments that we have never thought about. 
But one instrument that the Bible tells us that we have the opportunity to use is a um, harp. So boys and girls, um, teacher will give us a harp and um, we can just pretend we enjoy making music in heaven with our harps while we sing, sing song number 11. We're going to learn a lot of music, and that will be so good, so special. And you know what, boys and girls? Here on Earth, our streets, they're kind of dark, ugly black colors, and they're dirty. But in heaven, the Bible tells us that the streets are going to be made out of gold. Beautiful, shining gold. They'll be clean, and you can just play it in there. You don't have to worry about getting hurt or getting dirty. Now, boys and girls, would you like to go with me on a walk up on the streets of gold? We can do that while we sing song number 12. Um, let's start here. I don't know if somebody wants to follow me. Somebody wants to follow me? in the streets of gold with me. Now, you know what, boys and girls? The Bible tells us that Jesus went to heaven to prepare a place for us to live so we could be close to him. And this place, he's making us a house, a beautiful house. The house that we live in here, they're pretty. I know that your house is pretty and it has rocks on the front or or he has um, brick of different colors, your houses are fine. But we go to heaven. Oh, those homes, those homes are of gold and silver. And we, have, we will have jams all over, making pretty decorations. Jesus himself is designing those homes for us to live. Now, boys and girls, You know what? I would love to go to heaven, and I would love to see you there, but I don't know who my neighbor is going to be. Let's sing song number 13, and we can find out who our neighbor will be. Let me start with, would you like to come?
was so good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yep, there you go. Say hello. Wave at mom and dad. Oh, there. Nice. Oh, her fingers. Yeah, there you go. All right. Thank you, girls. Can you go back to your places? Oh, I think that we have somebody else ready, too. Yeah, you want to go and sit? Thank you, girls. You were so good. You want to come? Yes, let's sing. girls let me tell you something here on earth every tree gives you one kind of fruit the apple tree will give you apples and the orange tree will give you oranges yeah and a peach tree will give you peaches in heaven lots of those trees are going to be the same way they're going to give you only one fruit but there's one special tree in heaven. And this tree is called the tree of life. And this tree will put one fruit every month. That is very fast, boys and girls. And the fruit, it will be for healing. Very special tree. Oh, I want to eat of that special tree in heaven. So while we sing song number 14, Will you boys and girls come to this tree and pick one of those fruits and take them back to your baskets? about wonderful about heaven that you can go and pick up all these flowers that you like to bring to your mommies and I know here when you do they they die but in heaven you can pick up a beautiful flower bring it to your mommy and that flower is not going to die that is wonderful boys and girls let's sing song number 15 and you can come over here and pick a, a flower and take them back to your baskets. Thank you. 
Now, boys and girls, you know something about the, the lake in the heaven? This is going to be clear, clear. You can see all the fish and all the plants from, from the top. Yeah, and even though boys and girls get in there to swim, it doesn't get all stirred up and muddy. No, that happens here in heaven. The water is going to be so clear and all the time, and you can see everything is going to be so special. Now, boys and girls, would you like to go on a boat ride in that glassy sea? I know I will love it. If you like that, you can come here to our boat in Sabbath school and pretend that we are going on a boat ride on the sparkling sea. While we sing song number 16, I'll help you to get on the road. Yeah, that's fine. You want to come? See? Oh, sweetie. Let's see, Lucas, are you coming? to see a, a, an animal, a lion, an elephant, a giraffe, you have to go to a zoo, and many of them are in cages, so they don't hurt anybody, but in heaven, all the animals are going to be free, running around, just being friends, you can grab them and pet them, they will not hurt you. The lion that is so strong and goes roar, he will be just nicely sitting, playing with the little lamb. Wow, that's the place I want to be. Yes, I know that my girls, when they were little, they, I'm sure they will bring home all the little cub lions and tigers and jeep and all those little the teddy bears, little bears. Oh, I'm sure that we can do all of that in heaven. So while we sing song number 17, you can come and grab one of these animals and take them with you to sit with you.
big beautiful animal. I think I'll pick this one. It's a panda bear. They're so beautiful, right? I don't get to see this animal often, but in heaven, I can just keep him with me for a little longer. Oh, yep. Oh, I'm glad you guys chose wisely. Do you guys have nice animals with you? But you know what is the best part of heaven? The best part of heaven is that Jesus will be there. Jesus loves us a lot, and he wants us to be happy and healthy, and he wants you to be there, and he wants your mommy and daddy to be there. So when I see Jesus, all I want to do is to put toss my crown to the feet of Jesus. So boys and girls, if you would like to do that, you can just grab your crown and come and bring it to the feet of Jesus while we sing song number 18. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And you know what, boys and girls? That day is coming soon. And we know that the Bible tells us that when we hear that beautiful trumpet sound, we know that Jesus is going to come back to pick us up to take us to heaven with him. We have some trumpets in our baskets. And um, we are going to pretend to be angels that are coming back blowing their trumpets. I would like the parents to help with the words of the song while we, what I'll just help the boys and girls blowing their trumpets. Jesus is coming again very, very soon. And you know what, boys and girls? When he comes, there will be lots and lots and lots of angels. We have some little angel fell ones in your baskets. You can bring them to our fail board while we sing song number 20. <laughs>
I get to see finally King Jesus coming again. Now, boys and girls, heaven is such a special place. I'm telling you, um, we all want to be there. Your mommy wants to be there. Your daddy wants to be there. I want to be there. And I really hope that you want to be there too. Let's sing song number 22. Boys and girls, you can have, find your rainbows. And let's all sing together. boys and girls that you also want to go to heaven now the story time is here so boys and girls let's get ready for our story time let's sing song number 22 i know all of you girls are excited about this excuse me excuse me good job thank you Today we're going to learn about a baby. Okay, none of you are babies, but there are smaller babies. And this was one of them. This is baby Moses. Have you heard of baby Moses before? Yeah? Well, sometimes we hear a lot about Moses with the Ten Commandments, but we're going to talk about baby Moses. So baby Moses was born in Egypt, and it was kind of scary in Egypt because, well, he was born to some slaves. And so slaves didn't really get to do all the things they wanted to do. And, and she knew, baby Moses' mom, knew that baby Moses was in trouble, that there were some bad men in Egypt that wanted to hurt baby Moses. So when baby Moses was born, you know, she would hide him. She would, she would put him under the table and say, shh, baby Moses, don't cry. Or she would hide him behind the chairs and she would say, shh, baby Moses, don't cry. Because, you know, babies cry a lot, Right. So she and her daughter Miriam would try to take care of baby Moses and make sure that he was safe. But the bigger he got, the louder his cries were. I know, it's so sad. And so baby Moses' mother knew that baby Moses needed to go somewhere else to stay safe. So you know what she started to do? She started weaving a basket. Okay, and she started making this basket sort of like a little bed so that baby Moses could sit in the bed. So she wove this basket and put baby Moses in the basket. You see, here's baby Moses. And so she said, okay, well, baby Moses has gotten too big to stay at home. We need to, we need to pray to God to protect baby Moses. So they prayed to Jesus, please watch over baby Moses and keep him safe. So. They covered him up very carefully. And you know what they did? They put him in the river. Like that. 
and there were a bunch of branches around and a lot of grass so that maybe nobody would notice that there was a baby in the river. But you know, a little later in the day, Miriam, she decided that she was going to watch over baby Moses. And a little later in the day, you know who came to the river to bathe? The Egyptian princess. And she came and she waded into the water and you know what she found? She found baby Moses. And she said, oh, there's a basket. Someone bring me the basket. And so they brought her the basket. And you know what they did? They uncovered. Yeah, just like that. Can you help me uncover? And she said, oh my goodness, it's a baby. She said, someone is... That's good there. Someone is trying to save this baby. And she looked at the baby and she said, I love this baby. I'm going to take care of it. So she thought about it and she said, she's but taking care of babies is a lot of work. So she said, let me find someone who can take care of this baby for me. And Miriam came running from the bushes and said, your highness, I know of someone who can take care of the baby. And so she, the princess followed her all the way back to their home. And that's where baby Moses' mother was. And the princess said, will you take care of this baby for me until I can take him to the palace? She said, yes, I will take care of that baby for you. And you know what? She got to spend 12 more years with baby Moses at home. And she got to take care of him and watch him grow and teach him all about Jesus and how he loves us and cares for us. Just like he loves and cares for all of you. Yeah, so let's remember how Jesus loves and takes care of each one of us, even the tiniest ones of us, okay? You guys can go back to your seats. Thank you for listening. Oh, the Bible. The, yes, there's a Bible verse. There's a song? We're going to sing a song, and then we'll say the memory verse. Good. Verses, give thanks to the Lord. Can we say that together? Ready? Give thanks to the Lord. Yeah, great. Thank you so much for listening to our story today. You can go back to your seats. Sabbath school in church and you know that we're going to have a nice service that you can join us we're going to sing to Jesus we're going to pray to Jesus and you can also be part of that and we have your stories right there on the desk that the teacher you can grab one when you're walking out he has your story it's about baby Moses and your mom and dad can read them to you you can practice your memory verse at home, and I would love to hear you saying the memory verse next Sabbath day. So, boys and girls, I will say, let's say goodbye, and I really pray to see you again next Sabbath day. Let's sing song number 27.
boys and girls.